The auction house is one of the most prominent features of Madden Mobile's past, and with it no longer being in the game anymore, a lot of people are still looking for answers on maybe why they removed the auction house, and the big question, is the auction house ever coming back to Madden Mobile? In this video, we are going to be talking about really the whole history of the auction house, what changed throughout the years, and really to the point we're at now, will the auction house ever be coming back? If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you never miss any of my videos. 70% of you guys aren't subscribed, so please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Let's try to get this video to 100 likes. Also, thank you to Random Jerry and Bronze Bomber for helping me out and talking about some of these topics with me before I made this video. So, with the auction house, let's get into talking about what it used to be, how it worked, what was the auction house? So there might be some of you who are, have just started playing in Man Mobile 22 and you don't know what the auction house is. And there are also probably a lot of you watching maybe that are, you know, used to play the game and remember and love the auction house and are kind of looking for answers and just watching this video. Because like I said, this is the number one thing. If you search up Man Mobile, the next thing that comes up with it is the auction house. People want to know about the auction house. The auction house was implemented with Man Mobile's beginning in Man Mobile 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. It's been in the year game for so many years every year um, you know except this one so the auction house was a way for play people to get new players for their team and it was all through a currency of coins which we still have in the game but that was the main currency really used for the auction house and through the coins, through the auction house, you could get a bunch of players based on what people posted. So when it first started, it was a player to player auction house, which means every th single auction that you saw was somebody else's auction. Um, somebody specifically posted it for that exact price. And the auction house was kind of was separated by different auction houses. So there's like usually four of them. I think for a while they had one big auction house, but then I think the player base got very big and there was so much stuff in the auction house, they had to separate it into multiple auction houses, which was predetermined by your just account when you loaded a new account up you were you know predetermined into a certain auction house because it was player to player whatever you posted was the exact item that you posted on the auction house uh eventually there was stuff like coin selling and coin botting botting has always been part of the game it probably still is to some extent but the coin selling aspect of it was huge because it didn't matter you could post a very crappy card a bronze card up for a million coins and if you bought coins from either your friends or an online website then you were able to get those coins and it was a way to just be able to buy coins and obviously with ea being the way that they are obviously like as a game creator it makes sense for them to not want that to happen purely because of the fact that they're losing money on that they want people to buy their own coins or buy packs in the store so they can make their coins off of purchases that people make on their game other than third party stuff third party things in a lot of other games is a big issue and this is something that was a huge issue for the auction house and eventually so in Madden mobile 18 we saw the first big changes to the auction house because of the coin selling the botting all this kind of stuff um the game the auction house became extremely inflated cards were going for 99 million coins when they came out in october sometimes it, you know it'd be understandable for some of these cards to be super expensive at the end of the game but when people a lot of people especially the free-to-play players that aren't you know coin selling or buying coins from third-party sites it's impossible for you to get 99 million coins and uh it was a big issue so the auction house got shut down for a few weeks there was no auction house in the game for a while it was in man mobile 18 and this continued for for a couple weeks and then when implemented when it came back into the game there was a bot and this bot changed the auction house for a few years and it was obviously updated quite a bit the bot if you a lot of people didn't know there was a bot too you know you people always asked and especially last year and i've i heard it a lot there's a lot of comments people didn't know that the auction house was was so much semi run by a bot now i don't know all the details on this and that's really not we're going to focus on too much in this video but the bot was kind of like a middleman a third party it would kind of check if you posted your auction is it posted for a good price is it you know something like you know if it's way too high there's price floors price ceilings if it's way too high it's not going to be posted on the auction house too low it's not going to be posted on the auction house it's going to go to a different auction house so you can't sell it you know sell stuff directly to other people if your auction gets bought on another auction house it doesn't necessarily mean your thing is going to be bought on yours the bot was determinant on what the price was going to be at and if the auction was going to sell like i said i probably messed some of that stuff up anyways and 
what I just said, but basically it was not fully player to player. There were some aspects you could still, you know, the stuff that was posted in the auction house, somebody posted that card, but it wasn't for that exact same price and he probably wasn't on your auction house. There was always going to be some form of sniping and stuff going on with that, but once again, the bot definitely changed the face of the auction house and it was definitely an adjustment to get used to. And people kind of complained about it for a few years, uh, you know, through Mad Mobile 19. Mad Mobile 20 was a big issue where the price floors and the ceilings were not adjusted throughout the year, so cards were not selling. Basically, the price floor was set too high to the point where it was a price that nobody would sell anything for or would buy anything for. So you would just not be able to sell anything because everything you posted for, you couldn't even sell. Nobody wanted for whatever the price was at, and you couldn't sell it lower because of the price floors. So Mad Mobile 20's auction house was an issue. Now, Mad Mobile 21's auction house same thing with the bot they adjusted the price floors and stuff i think out of the botted auction house i think men mobile 21's auction house was the best one you could still snipe you could still post off in the auction house obviously there's a bot aspect of it but it wasn't extremely hard to sell cards you could still get cards it worked just fine for a lot of people obviously you know it's not the same being played a player that's what a lot of people wanted that's a lot of what a lot of people still would really like and then in man mobile 22 it was removed from the game. The entire auction house is no longer in the game, and it obviously has not been so far throughout this entire Madden Mobile season. The reason for them removing the auction house, and this is directly from EA. Um, this is what they said on their streams, Nick Messina. This is what you know they talked about, and this is the reason for the auction house. And I'll put a screenshot on the screen. With the auction house gone, the development can now structure the game in its entirety, base content and promos, knowing entirely what a user can and cannot accomplish. This also solves some security concerns around coins and third-party sellers, blah, blah, blah. There's probably some of that still in the game, but I don't think there was enough of it, and that's not the reason they removed the auction house. They removed the auction house for that exact reason that they stated. They can structure the game in its entirety, knowing entirely what a user can and cannot accomplish. Meaning, in short, they know what free-to-play players can get in a promo. They know in the promo this master is acceptable they know exactly what's going to happen the auction house you cannot get extra stuff you cannot boost your items from the auction house it is entirely up to ea what you can get from the promos as a free-to-play player they know there's going to be a lot of people that spend to be able to get more they don't care about that they know that's going to happen their goal is to limit a free-to-play player from getting more it's a entire pay-to-win currency I was talking to a lot of people in the community, specifically Random Jerry, about this issue with the auction house. Random Jerry believes that this was their goal all along. The auction house probably caused a lot of issues and a loss of revenue for them in general because people were able to use their knowledge and their smarts and use the auction house to their advantage to earn more coins and get players and teams that maybe regular free-to-play players couldn't get, so they just bought their way into that kind of stuff. So the auction house was probably a, you know, a way for them to lose money almost, and I think the way random jerry put it i think that was their plan all along to kind of phase out the auction house to the point right now where they can entirely control what is going on and that brings us to the question will the auction house come back to madden mobile ever now there's two different sides to this i think the main side is no it's not going to come back they brought the auction house slowly back they dialed it back to the point where it's not in the game anymore and i think that's what they wanted all along it's about the control of the players and knowing exactly what's going on and for them it makes it much more easy it's, it's easier for them and it under, it's understandable as a company, but at the same time, it still kind of sucks because that's something that everybody loves in the game. And it's driven a lot of people out, and especially because of the auction house this year not being in the game, it has made the game so much more pay to win. Like I said, because EA can structure it exactly how they want to. The free to play players that used to be able to be very good and have good teams, as I mentioned, because of the auction house, that's no longer. The free to play players can only get so much before they have to spend, and the spenders can be so far ahead, and there's no catching up because of the auction house. It's it's not in the game. There's no catching up. So they have the control. And a lot of people left the game because of that this issue. And it's obviously not the game, same game we used to play. There's a lot of people that played the game for the auction house and love the sniping aspect of it. Making coins was a lot of fun for them. You know, there's also a lot of people that, you know, don't like the fact that there's no auction house. It's, you know, set up exactly. A lot of people still want the auction house back. And a lot of people quit because of the pay to win gap. But I don't think that's enough for EA to bring the auction house back. I don't think it's going to be like, wow, our customers really want this auction house back. And I, I don't think 
they're going to get enough feedback for them to really change it back. Realize, wow, we're losing a lot of players because I don't think uh, it's that bad. I think they're making enough money to realize that we are fine where we're at. We don't need to bring it back to make more people happy because in general, that's just going to lose them more money, which it did over all of the years with the auction house. It was such a cool design. It was a great aspect of their game, but I think they realized eventually, hey, we got to phase this out because it's losing us money. The big thing is the control. I think the reason, like I said, they wanted to get to this point eventually, and purely because of that, I think this was their goal the whole time. I do not think the auction house will ever be coming back to Madden Mobile. It's a completely different game now. They changed it into like a, you know, PVE game, player versus environment thing. So it's it's a totally different game than what we're used to playing. And I've been having a lot more fun with it lately. It's definitely been in a better state than it was at the start of the year. I've been playing a little bit more. Um, it's still a good game. It's definitely one of the best games on the App Store for me because it's still football. I love collecting the cards. I love that aspect of it. But all of the old fun aspects, the fun packs, the auction house, all of that kind of stuff isn't in the game anymore. It's purely grind, 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 play a couple events here and there. There's no extra stuff to do. And um, the auction house was something that everybody loved for the most part. It was a big thing. And uh, with that being out of the game, a lot of people are going to leave and are leaving and are not going to be playing this game anymore. And that's completely understandable. And I think EA realizes that, but that's a change that they believe they had to make. It's unfortunate the way it had to come to, but it's here and we are in a game that no longer uses the auction house. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts. Do you think Madden Mobile will ever have the auction house back in the game? Why or why not? And let me know your thoughts on this video and let me know if you enjoyed it in the comments below. But anyways, guys, that is just about it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm the Goose TV and I'm out. I will see you guys later.